Well, hi everyone. Welcome to another lesson here at THSS Technology. Uh, today we're going to do the much requested lesson of how to change animations via code inside of Unity. Okay, so let's just have a current little uh, uh, state of affairs of our game. So we have our uh, adorable little player controller player here able to move around and collect our animated coins, which adds to our score. Fantastic. Okay, uh, but what I'm wanting to do here is I'm wanting it so when my coin gets collected, it plays a different animation. And uh, this has a wide variety of uses, of course. Um, and uh, it's actually relatively simple to do. The first thing we're going to do here is I'm going to take my little animator tab here and I'm going to dock it down separately here so I can see it more clearly here while I'm playing my game. So if I click my pickup here, you can see my coin bounce is playing pretty actively as the game is going and it stops playing because we have picked up the coin. Okay, so what we're gonna do next is we're gonna create a second animation file for our like coin disappearing, our coin destroy. So I got a little sprite sheet here that I've already sliced up uh, over here in the inspector. And let's create this into an animation to select the frames, drag it into the scene, and uh, let's put it in the animation folder, and let's call this coin destroy. Okay, excellent, now we'll click save. And here in our animations folder, uh, you will see our coin destroy uh, animation. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click back on my pickup. Okay, so we can see our coin bounce animation here. This is the animator. The animator is what controls the animations. And we can see currently in the animator for the coin, we have the coin bounce. But I'm going to take this coin destroy and I'm going to drag it in there as well. Okay, and when I put it in there, nothing's actually going to change. And you can see our coin will just uh, bounce away there. But if I go to my animator here and I make a transition to the coin destroy and delete this transition, uh, which we actually can't do, so kind of ignore me for there. I forgot that's the default state, so we will not be able to do that. So instead, let's take a transition from the coin bounce and make a transition to coin destroy. Okay? And you can see it immediately transitions from coin bounce over to coin destroy. It's actually going a little bit fast. Let's slow down this animation to half speed. That's better. Perfect, okay. So what is happening here is uh, everything is working. So uh, when the, the, the game starts, we start an entry, we're going to our coin bounce, and then since the coin bounce is complete, it's heading over to coin destroy. So what we wanna do is we wanna hold off going to coin destroy until we uh, pick up the actual coins. So to do this, I'm gonna click on my transition, and I'm gonna uncheck has exit time, okay. So now what's going to happen, you're going to notice the coin actually is just going to stay on coin bounce. It's not going to go over to coin destroy because we took off that exit time. And we're now going to uh, set up a, a trigger or a condition that is going to switch it from coin bounce to coin destroy through code. Okay, perfect. Once again, how to do that, I just clicked on the little transition line between coin bounce and coin destroy and I unchecked has exit time. Excellent. So now we're going to go over to our, uh, our pickup here, our coin. And you notice our script is called the pickup script. And let's go over to our pickup script here in Visual Studio. Uh, the first thing we need to be able to do is we need to be able to access our animator from, uh, 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 from our script. So let's uh, create a new variable here. Let's create a, a public animator, and we'll call this my anim. Pretty standard naming conventions. Now, right now our coin is a prefab. And whenever you're trying to grab game components uh, from prefabs, it's always good that you actually grab the game component through code as opposed to manually dragging it in the inspector. So I'm going to go to my start. And I'm going to say my anim, and we're going to make that equal to get component. Let's throw our carrots in. Name of the component is the animator. Let's initialize it and end it with a semicolon. So what this is doing is when the script starts, it's going to say my anim, which is this up here. It is the grabbing the animator component from whatever this script is attached to. Let's hit Control S. Let's go back to Unity. And one thing you'll notice is here in our pickup script, you'll notice over in the inspector the for my anim that says none. But when I go to play the game, you'll notice that it's going to initialize and actually grab the animator off the pickup, which is the animator off this pickup game object here. Perfect. So now we're able to access the animator uh, from our script, and we name the variable myAnim. Excellent. So let's go back to our pickup script here. And uh, this is currently what our pickup script is doing. When something uh, enters the trigger that's 2D, if it's tagged player, uh, I just have a debug in the log, I do that frequently. It's gonna add one to my UI score and then it's gonna destroy the game object. So I'm gonna temporarily disable the destroy and uh, let's go over here and um, uh, let's access our animator now. So we're gonna go my anim, which is gonna grab our animator component, dot play, because we're gonna play an animation. 
and then we're gonna put a bracket to indicate what we're gonna play. Now, of course, we're gonna be uh, calling forth a string name, the name of the animation, so we gotta use quotation marks. And now you just put whatever you call the animation. I called mine Coin Destroy, I believe. Watch your uh, spelling and capitalization. And then let's end that line. So what should happen now is when we enter the trigger, um, it's gonna add one to our score, and then it's gonna grab your animator and it's gonna play the Coin Destroy animation. Excellent, so control S, let's go back to Unity. Everything will update. And let's see if this works here. Perfect, so there's our coin bouncing away. And let's pay attention down here to the animator. Let's see if it transitions over once we go and enter its uh, collider. Excellent, as you can see now, uh, we switched over animations and the coin is being destroyed. Now, the issue here is the coin is also being destroyed um, uh, endlessly, the coin animation. So we actually now need to destroy the game object, but we can't just go back into our code here and tell it to destroy the game object, because if we do that, one thing you'll notice right away, the coin is gonna destroy before we can actually see the animation, okay? So that is a lesson for another time. Uh, we are gonna be talking about uh, coroutines and the ability to wait for seconds, which will allow us to play the animation fully before it actually destroys the coin, but that will be a lesson for another time. All right, until later, I uh, hope you have a great weekend, and we will see you next week.